I'm Bruce Patterson, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about energy psychology, because I find energy and psychology a very powerful combination. Psychotherapy is catching on to the fact that no matter what the issue is, it has an energetic component and can be addressed at that level. So East is meeting West. Science tells us that everything is energy, even what appears solid or inanimate. And there are all kinds of energies, everything from electrical to nuclear. And these energies have all been measured and documented. But what's been harder to measure and detect until recently is the energy of life itself, what Eastern medical traditions call chi or prana, the very energy of life. So simply put, if it's in here, we're here. If it's not, we're gone. The field of psychology comes from a Western culture and a Western model that applied the concept of physical health to mental health, so that what is sick needs curing and what's broken needs fixing. The Eastern model of health considers all illness, whether mental or physical, as imbalance needing rebalancing, with balance being our natural state. In the world of energy psychology, we have a motto. The cause of all negative emotions is a disruption in the body's energy system. So this is the natural intersection of psychology and energy, because they're really not separate. Imagine that your body has channels that your personal energy travels along. And now imagine that one of those channels is blocked. How do you think you'd feel? Not very good, probably very bad, and definitely blocked. It would be like having a garden hose. Turn on the spigot, and then you bend the hose. From the spigot to the bend, there's too much energy or pressure. And from the bend on down, not enough. Wouldn't it make sense to straighten out a garden hose if you want the water to flow evenly again? Well, that's the rebalancing our systems need when they're blocked. And that's what makes us feel better. Well, your body does have energy channels. They're called meridians, and they do get blocked. This causes disruption in our energy system, which manifests on an emotional level. And that's what tapping with our fingers on meridian points is all about. Dealing with negative emotions from, from an energy angle to restore the flow and bring balance back to the system. We've all run into people whose energies have been disrupted. They're not in a good place and they're not happy. Maybe sometimes that person is us. Well, a disrupted energy is just an energy that's out of balance. And that's what rebalancing our energies is all about. Clearing up the blockage so that the flow is even again. Often, what I call a simple energy correction can achieve this. If you're interested in the science behind this, you can go to energypsych.org. If the science doesn't interest you, that's okay too. You don't have to completely understand how this works for it to work. It explodes as energy, proving Einstein's theory that mass and energy are really the same. I'm Bruce Patterson. Thanks for watching.